so let's get this going. Let's uh, get into the unrestricted free agents. So these are the players that are getting set to hit the open market, and we need to figure it out, break it down, if these are guys worth bringing back and what kind of money we're talking about. So first one on the list, I got wide receiver Bryce Butler. Uh, Bryce Butler, he had a pretty decent season by his standards, played in 13 games. 15 receptions, 317 yards, and three TDs. But the eye-catching stat, for me at least, is the 21.1 average per catch. So he's, in my opinion, he was the only deep threat on the Cowboys roster. And I like seeing that because I'm not seeing that, you know, from any other player on the Cowboys roster. He was actually on FS1. He was on Colin Coward Show. He was on Undisputed. He says he's not coming back unless he's given the opportunity or pretty much guaranteed a starting position. Do you see Bryce Butler on this team next year? My heart is telling me yes, um, but I just don't trust the, the, the coaching staff quite yet to, to see it that way because, unfortunately, in the Dallas organization, they are very loyal uh, yeah. in the franchise. And I just – To a fault. Yes, exactly, right? And, <laughs> and, I mean, I love the Cowboys. You know that. That's what we're here talking about. But the – I love Butler the same reason you do. I think he's got great hands. Uh, he can catch the ball. He proved that last year too. Um, he's he came in, and I honestly thought if he didn't hurt his hamstring, he would have been just fine. Like when he was when he was with the Cowboys, like ever since he got here, he's kind of been under the radar. But he puts up numbers. He gets the job done when he's called on. But he doesn't get in the he doesn't get in the game. And so if I I, I think we bring him back. The only issue I see here, man, is the drama. We've got to get the drama out of the locker room. And he's been – he's calling out the coaching staff on on the national <laughs> stage. And it's like, I don't know if you want to bring that back in because that's the last thing the Cowboys need. They've already got the spotlight. So I, I love his talent. And we've already got Dez being the diva over there talking his game. Do we need another one in there? It's just – it's one of those things that's so tough. But I would love to see Butler in the game because let's be real – we struggled at the the receiver position this year because for one we couldn't catch the ball and two we couldn't we couldn't break out of coverages like we could not create separation and Butler gives you that opportunity another 50-50 ball like a 50-50 receiver where you can just throw it up and hope that he goes and gets it that's huge for a guy like Dak Prescott I think we need to put the the investment into Butler I also like Bryce Butler a lot on this roster and given the limited opportunity he was able to make quite a few big plays uh, during the regular season. I feel like if the Cowboys ever drew up a game plan that featured Bryce Butler and they sort of force-fed him the way in some of these games they're force-feeding Dez, I think at the very least you'd get a similar result. I completely agree Bryce Butler has the 4-3 speed, and that's what we need, that deep threat to stretch the field. No other Dallas Cowboys receiver gives us that threat. However, the one thing I will slightly disagree with you on is I think Bryce Butler has inconsistent hands. I believe he had three drops in the regular season, and given the fact that he only had about 18 opportunities, you know, that's kind of a high percentage of drops. So a little bit inconsistent there. I'm not sure if he's ready to be a number one, but then you think, well, he's for sure a number two. He definitely outperformed Terrence Williams, but the only problem with Terrence Williams is the contract. He currently sits at $4.7 million against the cap in 2018, but here's the kicker. You cannot cut Terrence Williams because then you cut Terrence Williams and he becomes over $7 million in dead money. So you're paying Terrence Williams more than double not to be on the team this year. It's not feasible to cut Terrence Williams until next year. So unless you're going to cut Dez and make Bryce your number one, it looks like more than likely to me that Bryce will not be a cowboy in 2018. 